i d continuing on from 5.6 we will now create the multi view dimension drawings from activity 5.6 for 50 points you can call this 5.7 read the directions here you create the multi view dimension drawings for three parts from activity 5.6 Fully dimensioned with four text boxes for each part. Student must type in their ID number when they submit in comment box submission. So when you submit all three, type in your student ID number so your instructor can confirm your ID number with the submission. Uh, aluminum part number one, you're allowed to use baseline dimensioning, which is what you've learned from this for the whole inventor journey you've been on. Brass part number two, we're gonna use a new skill called chain dimensioning. Third part, the lofted part, high density polyethylene, part number three. Use either dimensioning skill technique. For some cases you're allowed to dimension the hidden line as sometimes it is the lesser of two evils for professional document and clear communication. First thing you should do is have your inventor open Hopefully these three parts are already completed. If not, you should go back to 5.6. Quick way to do that, I think, is hit previous down here. That was not it. This would be it, 5.6 physical properties analysis. So um, this would actually go before that one. So when you're on 5.7 multi-view dimension drawings for 50 points and you need a quick tutorial of how to complete these inventor parts, hit the previous button. There they are. So the aluminum, part one. New piece of paper. This is the title block. Your name. ID block number. Hit OK. Uh, you lay out the base view. Front. I feel like a good scale is 1.5 to 1. Because you will find out that 2 to 1 might be too big. Well, let's try 2 to 1. Start out. You'll notice that the views are too big and they overlap. So to correct that, you right click hover over the front, right click, edit view. Instead of two to one, you might want to shrink it down to 1.5 to one. And shrink the ISO view to 1.5 to one. Move it over, make sure it all fits. Make sure within the lines, that would be a deduction of one point right there. Professional looking drawing. Might as well make this color level at, while we are at it. Four text boxes could be good. Top. Front. Right. ISO. 1.5, so 1. Now you could type in the material. If you do not type in the material, it is a one-point deduction. This one's aluminum. Painted cyan. Since we are changing the material now, you get to type it in the ISO view. I will also include that in directions. Dimensioning. First thing you should always dimension is total X. I always like to uncheck this. So it stops popping up. Dimension total Y. And total Z. Now you get to run your suicides in all directions. Z direction, here to here. Here to here. X direction. Instead of having dimensioning through the part, you can run it through here. I'd rather have this one here than it cutting through the part here or a dimension inside this part. 
that's just me. I guess you could do it that way. So 0.75 deaths, that is a clever way to do, do that, I guess. Um, height. Suicide lines here to here. I guess we can use the same technique like so. So your extension lines are not cutting through the part. Good time to save this. Save it in the same spot as Unit 5 Activities. 5.6 aluminum, last name, hit save. Export to PDF. Remember, if your instructor forgets to dimension something really quick, you still need to dimension it correctly. Oh, I think I need these Z suicide lines right here. Oops. Dimension here to here. Need to know that. Save, it's good, export. This is your baseline dimensioning. 5.6 aluminum, last name. Cool, one PDF finished. Now let's look at the brass part. View, a new piece of paper, CCP title block, your name, ID block number. <clears throat> Base, we know 1.5 scale was good for the other one. You can see that one to one scale might be a little too small. So to enlarge it, you right click the front because it controls the top and right. You can make this 1.5. I like it when it fills up more of the paper. Right click this, edit view. We can make this colored, shaded. 1.5 to one. Here's your lesson for the day. If you right click this one and you edit view, we want hidden lines shown. We want them shown because we need to know that edge goes all the way back. If you have this one clicked, the hidden line will not show. That is incorrect. Edit view, show hidden line only on the top front right views because that is accurate. Four text boxes, annotate text, top, front, Right. So here's ISO 1.5 to 1. This is brass. Red. If you do not communicate the material now, since we're studying physical properties, that is a one point deduction. Very easy. This would be a one point deduction here, just outside the border. So you just have to move it over a little. Barely in the board, if that's all right. Now, we're going to try chain dimensioning. First thing, though, is you dimension the total width, which is the X. Oops, dimension from here to here. Total width, which is X. Dimension, I'll dimension from here to here. Total height. Total depth. Now, we're going to click this chain dimension. When you click chain, hover over the line, make it red. Click when it's red, go above, right click, continue. Chain dimensions those features for you, right click. That was a left click, now you right click create. Chain, this guy, this guy. Oh, okay, we'll do that again. Chain, left click, left click, right click, continue, left click, right click, create. So basically, this is a different way to dimension. You are kind of chain dimensioning the features instead of baseline dimensioning from this left edge, the X dimension. Then you could baseline dimension the height over here. From here to here, it's 0.75. 
dimension from here. Why won't that catch? We want to dimension to this hidden line. Because there's no other better way to do this. You could dimension this little guy within the park. I, I prefer not, but I guess that looks all right. So this part would actually be a one point deduction because your instructor over dimensioned this little guy twice. So you get to pick one of them to dimension to the hidden line or dimension here. However, let's not, oops, let's not have that 0.25 dimension lay inside the part. That is bad as well. This would be a two point deduction. If not more, you over dimension the same thing multiple times and this one lays in the part. So, this would be a good time to save. Save this guy. Uh, sure. And then you export to PDF. So you have two of these completed. Third one. The lofted part. New. Title block. This is title block, your name. Uh, IED number. Okay. We know that 1.5 to 1 is a good scale. Oh, this is in centimeters. So you could just lay out the views first. Right click create. Everything's off the page. Hover over this one. Right click. Edit view. Forgot this is in centimeters. Let's see if 1 to 1 is a good one. Yeah, it's not bad. One to one could be good. Right click, edit view, the ISO view. This is how you correct it if you accidentally scale it too big or too small. Color fits, hopefully. Okay, you can do your four text boxes. One to one might be actually a little messy. That's all right. It'll make it work. You need your four text boxes to save time. To save time, I will not do the four text boxes. I'll go straight into dimensioning. Total X. Remember that now we're converting these to inches. So some of these might be what you think kind of messed up. So now, total width, total well, depth, total height. Warehouse, please report to the chapel by 7.40 this morning. Thank you. Suicide height right there. Now, suicides in the uh, X direction kind of get a little fun. So I'll, I'll do the... Oops, not that one. Dimension. Here, no. dimension from this corner to this guy, this corner to here, this corner to here, and then I'll do this little guy up here for clarity. Okay, so I believe a dimension everything, save, export to PDF. Okay, now in 5.7, when you submit, you submit all three PDFs, and in the comment section, wherever it is down here, you type in your five-digit ID number to confirm that these parts are yours. There's a five-point deduction if you do not comment with your ID number. Thanks for your time. Five point deduction.